Hi there, I'm meteorologist Chicago Windler. I gotta admit, I've been geeking out all day long and it's all because of the partial solar eclipse. I hope you saw it. If you didn't, guess what? I've got some video, I've got some pictures, so you'll almost feel like you were right there in the middle of it. Of course, the next one doesn't happen until 2017, so we'll have to focus on something else to be exciting and get our attention. In the meantime, here's tonight's Chicks Chat. So we start with this look at the partial solar eclipse video from Mount Bonnell where our photographer from KI, Dustin Rogers, shot this awesome, awesome video. If you look really closely, I know it's a little overexposed, you may actually be able to see, oh, there you go. You can see the sunspots on the sun. So what you're looking at is this little chunk right here is the moon as it's passing between the sun and the earth. Pretty awesome sight. And of course, there were multiple ways of being able to safely view it. One of them was using eclipse glasses. So here you can see Walt, Hama, and I. Walt's got the eclipse shade. We're wearing the eclipse glasses so that you can actually look directly at the sun. Don't have that? Well, no problem. Pinhole projectors or cameras are pretty easy to create. Here's one of our directors, Tim Harrison. He's got a little cardboard box that he fashioned so that he can see the shadow cast by the eclipse. And how about this one? Not necessarily your traditional approach, but underneath here is one viewer's camera covered by not one, not two, but three sets of polarized glasses that he taped together. Not necessarily the best approach, but probably got a better picture that way than he would have had he not used anything at all. So here was my best take. Not all that great. I'm still kind of learning my new camera that I have, but check out this shot awesome. Diane Baker and Lockhart. She told me she actually shot this by using her cell phone through a telescope. Awesome. Probably the best shot I've seen so far. Oh, and look at this one. Fred Wilson in Georgetown. He sent me several photos, but this was my favorite. It almost looks like Batman. You can see the clouds to the south. You can see the little divot as the eclipse was just about ending where that moon was awesome, awesome picture. Here's a photo from Dewey Lion. Remember that shot I showed you with all those polarized glasses stacked up? Well, here was the result. He actually got a pretty awesome picture of the eclipse. And this one from Lockhart, Adrian Gutierrez, really cool. He's pointed out for you where those sunspots are on the surface of the sun. Amazing. All right, you missed it. Sorry, tough luck. Next one's not till August 21st, 2017. A total eclipse for some parts of the United States, a partial eclipse for the Austin area. As you can tell, we get pretty excited about cool events like this. I'd love to see your pictures and video of anything you think is weather worthy and something I should see. Find me on Facebook, find me on Twitter. Also use hashtag KIWX and I will get the message. Now let's talk about your forecast. It's gonna be heating up. Sunshine, next three and a half days. High temperature, 88 Friday, 89 Saturday, that's two degrees shy of a record. Sunday, we're at 88, that's two degrees high, shy of a record. Monday at 88, Tuesday is 86. Green chance is starting to enter in the picture. A 10% chance late Tuesday, a 30% chance with the possibility of front kind of stalling and washing out over us, and maybe even a lingering shower early Thursday. That paves the way for Halloween Friday, October 31st, and here's your preview. You know what? I think it's going to be unseasonably cool and actually really pleasant. That's why I'm calling it spooktacular. 